Well, here we are, getting ready to head out for an overnight adventure. We're going out to the Dugway Geobeds with the uh, Boar Off-Road Group. We're going to dig up some rocks and bust them open. So, getting ready to pull out of the house now. Just waiting for the Jeep to finish its reprogramming from the trail dash into tow mode. And uh, we'll be headed down to meet up with the early group. There's two groups of us going out. There's a group leaving around 4 and another one leaving around 6. We're all going to meet up. It's about a two and a half hour trip. Uh, should be uh, should be a good time for the weekend. So we just met up with the rest of the group. Forgot to film it. Yay us! Um, but we just left uh, Walmart in Saratoga Springs, Lehigh area there to head out toward the Pony Express Trail to make our way toward the Dugway Geobeds. So we're gonna pull up here, we'll get aired down, uh, make our ride a little smoother, and uh, we got about two hours driving till we get there. So it's gonna be a long, slow haul, pulling our trailer. It's a little heavy. We've got it loaded down with water and all of our camp gear for a single one night trip. Still out here headed toward the Geobed, the Pony Express Trail. We've managed to locate a oversized load out here on this dirt road. So our pace has crawled, slowed down to about 20 miles an hour. Uh, we're still approximately an hour from our destination. But uh, yeah, check this out. Oversized load. Figure out where it's leaking. Yeah. I got plugs. I got plugs. You can I, we can plug this. You got plugs? I got plugs. Just plug it. Plug it. Okay, so you got the rough tool? I don't know what a rough tool is. That's like the one it looks like. This one? Yep. Okay. That's the one everyone freaks out on. I have to rough it up and clean it up, I think. See, that it's even been used. We used this on the second time I got flat. That's when we were going to uh, Jacob City. And yeah, and it was right before that big old hill. And that I climbed big up. Hill. It was, and I climbed up that big um, old hill on a flat. The, water. the whole plug, or do I frick it in half? Uh, whole whole plug. Yeah, whole, whole plug. plug. You bend it in half, basically, I think, right? So you take it. All right, we're all getting a lesson here. You're going to be on the, you know, my YouTube. So. Well, here's the le lesson. You never do this on a motorcycle tire. Oh, okay. We do it all the time. <laughs> if it's in front, you just take a little more precaution. You, do, you go a little slower. You got to get out. I mean, you know. Exactly. If this is all I had and I didn't have a spare, I'd drive on the rim. <laughs> got to get out somehow. Exactly. Apparently like that. Apparently like that. Okey After trying to plug the tire, we ended up using the spare just so we can get to camp. Here's our camp, and here was the geo bed we were digging in. These were the few rocks we were able to collect. All right, we're uh, leaving the geo beds here. Getting ready to head toward this uh, mining canyon thing. Should be a should be a good time. Where we at? At a bulldozer or an excavator or something. 
Yeah. Not here to the mine side. Old abandoned piece of equipment left out here. This dozer up here. It's an old, old one. Walk up here and check it out. Yeah, it's an old mine shaft. It goes way down. Engine up there that pulls the mine shaft down. The tar's up that shaft. It's pretty steep. Oh, cool, fine. Old ladder that goes down for sure, but it goes way on down beneath us.
right, so we all aired up. We're uh, headed toward Delta-ish direction. We're not going to go into Delta, but uh, we're headed that direction from where we got back on the highway here. Uh, headed home, and it's uh, been a good trip. We got to see some cool mine shafts. Those were really cool. Might come out here and do some additional filming or something. Um, some scenery on the way. We're going to probably get with other cameras or whatnot, but uh, we'll get some more pictures. There's a volcano that we're going to pass. Um, a couple of mine shafts or uh, a power plant, things like that. Nothing real spectacular, but it is pretty scenic out here. So, should be a trip home. We got about in one mile, keep right to brush barrier. Three hours to get home from where we're at. So be a long haul, but it should be a fun one. Um we are now in Eureka. Still going back to home. We're still on pavement. Uh we just stopped at a gas station to get some gas in. So yeah. I'll update you later.